English for teachers. Three. Jibontari, boat of life. A small boy sits by the edge of the Gomoti River in Bangladesh. He is with his father. The boy's legs are disabled. He cannot walk without aid. His father carried him from their village to the riverside. Now they wait. There are crowds of people waiting. Many of the people are physically disabled in some way. Some of them are blind. Some of them cannot walk. They wait together, young and old. They wait with hope. Everyone's eyes are fixed ahead. There floats the Jibuntari boat, the boat of life. The blue and white boat stands tall in the water. It measures 40 meters long and 10 meters wide. It is a floating hospital. Inside the boat is an operating theater, recovery beds and laboratories. A team of 22 people work on the boat. This includes doctors, nurses, cooks and support workers. Sorry, workers. To the riverside communities of Bangladesh. Hospitals are rare in these countryside areas. Many of the patients have no other way of getting any kind of health care. Export doctors work long hours in the operating theatre on the boat. As well as treatment, they offer training and health education. The floating hospital stays in one area for up to 12 weeks. Then it moves to the next place. The boat has no engine. A tugboat pulls the boat from the place. The workers got the boat ready in their target time, 14 months. They fought against terrible floods. Then 60 workers pulled the boat into the waters at the riverbank of Mawa in the Munshiganj area. They did this without the aid of machines. It took them 12 days. The Jibontari boat entered the waters of Bangladesh in February 1999. Since its launch, the boat has visited 17 other areas in Bangladesh. The health team have provided treatment for over 70,000 people. One of these was 8-year-old Gita. Gita was born with a problem in her feet. She could not stand on her own until she was 3 years old. And even then, she was unable to walk. Her family did not have the money to pay for any medical treatment. Then, someone living close by told her father about Jibon Thuri. So in July 2002, Gita and her father went to the boat. The doctors were able to treat Gita without any cost. They operated on a feed. A month later, young Gita was able to walk, thanks to the Jibontari. Impact Foundation is responsible for the Jibontari. Impact Foundation is an international aid group. It works to prevent and treat disabilities and disease. Impact Foundation stated that about 10% of the population in Bangladesh are disabled. In some parts of Bangladesh, one in six people are disabled. Doctors say that about half of these people could be treated. Impact Foundation Bangladesh or IFB started in 1993. IFB works to help prevent and cure disabilities and disease in the countryside areas of Bangladesh. Prakash Chandra Rai lives in the countryside area of Bangladesh. He has only one son, Ujjal. Ujjal developed red marks in his 
throat and tongue. This made it difficult for him to breathe. Prokosh took his son to the village doctor. He gave him some medicine. This helped a little. But the breathing problems remained. The doctor said that Ujjal had a blockage in his nose. This was causing his breathing difficulties. So the doctor advised Prokosh to take his son for treatment. But the total cost of such treatment was high. It was more than two years earnings for Prokosh. Prokosh already struggled to feed his family. Where would he find that kind of money? He had no land to sell. He had no relations who could help him. He could only trust his son's future to the hands of God. Then, one day, he heard some people talking at the marketplace. They spoke about the floating hospital, Jibuntari. Prokosh organized a trip to the boat. The doctors there were able to treat Ujjol. Prokosh said that Jibuntari lit the light in his darkened life. Nijamuddin Sheikh is 48 years old. He used to work as a day laborer at the river port. His daily earnings were about one US dollar. He took on extra work in different places and he earned just enough money to support his wife and daughter. However, Nijamuddin started to lose his sight in his right eye. Then he lost his sight in his left eye. He had to leave his work at the river port. His daily earnings dropped. His family had less food to eat. Employers would not give him work. Nijamuddin sat at home. He felt helpless and useless. One morning, he was sitting in the small wooden home. He heard an announcement from outside. It spoke of the Jibondari. They said that doctors could treat eye patients. Immediately, Nijamuddin jumped up. His wife helped him walk to the boat. Doctors examined him. They told him that he had a cataract. Doctors can treat cataracts easily. They operated on Nijamuddin. He returned to work almost immediately. He said, I did not expect to ever see my little daughter go to school. I did not think that I would work again to feed my family. Impact Foundation Bangladesh, IFB, has helped many other people like Nijamuddin. Without such help, he and his family would have starved. IFB says that the problem of disability often causes many other problems. It means that people cannot work. When they cannot work, they cannot earn money to feed their families. IFB says that people do not always understand this connection between disabilities and poor living conditions. Impact Foundation does not only work in Bangladesh, they also work in Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. Their methods are often unusual, like the Jibontari. They use intelligent thinking to try to solve problems. In Bangladesh, a floating hospital works well because of the many rivers. In India, Impact Foundation designed a hospital on wheels. It is a train called the Lifeline Express. The train takes healthcare services to towns and villages that are usually difficult to reach. Doctors on the train have treated over 35,000 Indians. Impact Foundation works with local and international groups in the different countries. Their aim is to prevent and reduce the causes of disabilities. 
In doing this, they seek to improve the general living conditions of the poor. Impact Foundation asks questions to get answers. They ask why disability still affects 500 million people in our world. So many of the causes can be prevented or treated. They say that everyone has a right to this information and technology. It is a right that they are working to give.